Welcome to Power Search. I'm going to show you how I used AI to help me build a Dynamo script for Revit. I tested with three AI chatbots, ChatGPT, Claude, and YesChat, to see how each one handled the task. ChatGPT, one of the most well known right now. Claude, an emerging alternative with strong reasoning abilities. And YesChat, a lesser known option with a dedicated Revit Dynamo helper. For my prompt, I'm using a reference image of an existing working script. However, I want a customized solution that will allow for user inputs on the fly without having to open Dynamo. Furthermore, my text prompt asks the AI to generate a Dynamo script that collects all sheets in the project, allows users to modify line weights via a slider, outputs the updated line weights for views on the selected sheet, and uses the rhythm and the data shapes package notes, while maintaining a clean and structured workflow. Let's check out the results. To start, I used ChatGPT's Explore GPTs to find the Mermaid integration, in the hope of sketching out the script logic visually. I attached my reference image and entered the prompt. In return, I got a nice step-by-step -step detailed explanation of the process. And this diagram, which seemed really helpful in breaking down the workflow before diving into Dynamo. From there, I switched to Claude. I ran the same prompt through Claude and also included my reference image. It's worth noting that Claude can also generate mermaid diagrams, but I had to include this request in my prompt. Claude provided a response that followed a similar structure, but was way more concise. It listed package dependencies, specific nodes that I would need to include in my script. These are listed as orange on screen, but importantly, it only did this for the packages that I specifically called out in my prompt, failing to identify out of the box nodes. This was all packaged in a streamlined workflow. Comparing the two diagrams side by side, we can see a contrast in how they represent the same process. The Claude diagram took a more complex approach with parallel processes and nested subgroups. Claude provided separate subgraphs for sheet collection, UI elements, and line weight processing. ChatGPT's Mermaid follows a simple top to bottom progression that aims to mirror how data moves through the intended Dynamo script. And lastly, on to the third option in the list, YesChat. Again, I followed the same steps, including the reference image and the prompt. YesChat returned a structured response, starting with a workflow outline to justify its approach. The solution was presented in multiple formats, Dynamo node layout and connection, node connection example, grouping nodes, and a final script layout. To be honest, I found this information repetitive and overwhelming. Here is a comparison chart of each chatbot's response. Each response has been summarized into a step-by-step -step analysis. This analysis was helpful in helping me define a structure for the final script. It helped me sketch out the script logic, which was almost half of the battle resolved. Here is how that translates into the final graph, starting with the collection of all sheets in the project. All sheets are then passed through the user inputs where the line weight is determined. Then on the selected sheet, views are collected. These are then filtered and extracted, and this is when the selected line weight is applied 
to the extracted views. Finally, we can view the result. I'll start the review at the sheet collection stage. ChatGPT explicitly shows using all elements of category, followed by the element.name nodes for extraction. While Claude and YesChat simply state collect sheets without specifying the method. For Dynamo relevance, ChatGPT provides the exact nodes needed in Dynamo. At the user interface stage, ChatGPT separates two specific components, the data shapes drop down for sheet selection and the number slider for line weights, also from data shapes. Claude and YesChat combine these into one UI for selecting sheets and line weight. For Dynamo relevance, ChatGPT specifies the exact data shapes package nodes needed. For the filtering stage, ChatGPT suggests the list filter by bull mask node to process the selection. While Claude doesn't define any filtering mechanism, YesChat suggested the UI selection process would filter and define the selected sheet. For Dynamo relevance, YesChat, as shown in the script. We now move on to the view extraction stage. All understood this step quite well and all listed the right package and the right node, although Claude included this as part of step one, which was the sheet collection. All of them also incorrectly told me to output the views and the viewports instead of just the views. For the line weight application, ChatGPT specifies the rhythm package and the required node. Claude and YesChat also call out the specific package and node, being that this is one of the packages that I called out in my prompt. In conclusion, ChatGPT would be the most helpful when building a Revit Dynamo graph because it specifies the exact package node names from both built-in and package libraries while also noting the package name. This is so helpful because it can be a massive challenge to find what package a specific node comes from. Furthermore, it was the best at attempting to show the actual structure of how data flows between nodes in Dynamo. So can AI help with the process of building a Revit Dynamo graph? Absolutely. Is it going to just make a graph for you that actually works? No. You need to have some kind of understanding of how things work together.